slid out from under me. I came 12 feet down, face down. Almost killed Rooster. She was right under me. Uh, so I'm very careful. But yeah, I got. I used to have steps right there. That's where my office is now. My little cubby hole. Uh, I tore them out. They were so steep you could not go up them without turning sideways. They were built terrible. I saw an accident waiting to happen. I just tore them out. So let me get off this. stuff out and I'll just start stacking it up and I'll pull my truck around and move it we got all this weed eated down once everything's out I'll come over it with the mower once I get all the rocks and and that's his doghouse I'm gonna take the front porch and the back porch off he was a front porch sitting guy and uh, Waldo and Lily would love this doghouse But I'll always remember Wally when I look at it. I built this when it was 20 degrees out. It took me two or three days, I believe, and it was a cold week. But that's right when Waldo and him started trouble. Couldn't have them together. This is back porch. There's wood on that. Those are easy to take off. 
And uh, it's pretty sunny out where this yard is, so I built him a little shade shelter. <laughs> it looks terrible now. But he had a bed in there. He'd get up in there, and it was all covered up. Uh, but, yeah, he, he got scared of storms. He tried to dig his way out. So, as you can see, there's quite a few holes. I've got all this to come off. i got to get this tree out of here. Get all this down. But, uh, yeah, he was he was difficult. Had to put different things to keep him from climbing. He'd get in the corners and climb up. 80-pound dog, but he could climb. All right. I'm going to start getting this fence down. Get that down. Everything else will go pretty quick. this one by four which should have been treated but it isn't and uh, I don't even think you can get them treated unless they're for a dick and I took these big hose clamps put them down here like this on the t-post went around tighten them up and then I could screw boards to that so if you're wondering what these are that's why and they worked out pretty good long rebar nailed down to hold the bottom of the fence and the easiest way to get them out is to take some vice grips get down about an inch just pull them out that's it take out there the sun goes right above you it's still hot here it's the humidity it was kind of cool when I started but uh, I had a funny thing happen I embarrassed the heck out of myself uh, truck pulled in the driveway and I didn't recognize it and he stopped at the bottom of the driveway so I stopped what I was doing walked down there and I see him getting out this great big nice tripod and setting it up and I'm like Man, you know, I, I, I've been saying I had tripod pod, blah, pod problems. Maybe uh, somebody brought me one. No, well, I went down there. I said, man, is that for me? And he just looked at me. He was a surveyor for the property next door where they're set when they sold it. Wanted to see where their property line ended. So, yeah, that was a lesson learned. All right, folks, I'm going to get this edited and get it on there. Uh, not in a rush and getting his yard down, but I got one big part of the fence down. Uh, got it weed eated, got that ugly tree down. So, and we'll work on it more this evening. But it's, I'm just not going to push myself. You know, I, uh, <laughs> got a bad back, bad knees, bad shoulder, bad hands, everything else. So I'm doing the best I can. But I do need to get all these projects done. You know, I'm 55 years old and. They don't get easier, so I want to get everything done so I can relax the rest of my life. So, till then, happy trails.